Good morning. It is now Saturday. I just got out of Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's Sporting Goods. It's a uh, it's a place where they sell sports apparel and stuff. It's pretty good. Anyway, just bought uh, paintballs. Just bought some hockey stuff. Right now, I am headed over to the Scuff House to wake everybody up. And then from there, I personally head over to the Counter-Strike House to set up everything. So these guys can just get there, so Hitch can just get there, set up the cameras, start shooting, get ready to go, be done by 1 o'clock. This gives us some really, really good time to get shit done. Uh, I got a text really early in the morning from Rush saying that he had just gone to bed at around like 6.50 or something like that. So second day in a row that these dudes go to bed at like 7 a.m. No big deal to me. No big deal to me. But they are going to have to wake up and do their thing. All right, so we're finally here. The thing is this. As I walk in here, I expect everybody to be up and ready to go. It is one and a half hours to noon, which is the designated time that we said that we we're going to be there. Um, and still... I have a little bit of doubt in my head. It's not that I don't know them well enough, or it's that I know them well enough, that I know that they're not gonna be awake. Especially Nick, who's like right above me. What's good, Cusso? Damn, you got the sugar out again? Yeah, man. Late night, late night. How late? Three? And you're still up before anybody else? Yeah. How's that a thing? Everybody's asleep? No way, everybody's asleep. No, everybody's awake. Pe smooth? People are awake, yeah. Breakfast? From yeah. where? It's called Richard Walker's. Oh, it's so good. What do you order? Crispy bacon, a hash brown, four or five packs of ketchup, <laughs> over easy eggs, large orange juice, chocolate chip pancakes. That's it? That's it. No coffee? No orange juice? I got my own coffee. Wait, what do you mean every morning? I order every morning. I order it every morning for like a week. What about the gym? Fuck the gym. <laughs> you up? Yeah, working. Are you working? My nine to five. What, what you mean? You working? What game? You got good games? Oh, yeah. I don't got that fucking game. Oh, my God. I'm getting shit on. I was in the last Who are you punching? <laughs> Nick. One hour and a half, alright pal? Pam. Pam. Hour and a half, okay? Alright. Alright, so Hitch is up. Hitch is awake. Bose actually was awake and so is Big Time. Big Time is always, I can always rely on Big Time to be up at a certain hour of the day because it don't matter what time he goes to bed, that boy's gonna be up at seven. Just like me, today my internal clock made me get up at 7 a.m. like it always does. But since I edited my vlog last night and uploaded it last night and edited, edited, uploaded, and scheduled to go up at, uh, this morning, I'm like, oh shit, there's a fucking fish right there. He just came to the surface. I need to go fishing. I'm gonna take the, the my pole from there right now. Anyway, as I was saying, so I got up and I was ready to go. Okay. Today, I, you know, I took the liberty of staying in bed for another hour because uh, Dick Sporting Goods didn't open until 9 a.m. So I figured I'd lay in bed from like 7 to like 8 and then took a shower at 8. 8.30, out the door, got to Dick Sporting Goods, bought the stuff, headed to the scuff house, now headed to the CSGO. figure out where we're gonna set up the targets and I think that what I originally wanted to do is gonna be the place to do it unfortunately it rained last night so everything's a little bit super everything's a little bit super wet right here on the ground so I think that either way we're gonna shoot from here this is gonna be our base and then we're gonna shoot off into the distance that way um, and the reason that I want to shoot that way there's a lot more room for there to be a less margin of error if that makes any sense i just don't want any accidents to happen and shooting down the distance that way is better and since these are ground targets it'll make it a lot easier for us not to fuck up in any way the other place that i was thinking is maybe setting up here and then shooting off this direction but i need to find a table to set up all the guns 
and and that and I don't have I don't think I have the time to go and pick up one of the ones that I have and these guys are all using the ones that I brought so it's gonna be a little bit of a tricky situation but I think that this is a better place to shoot from now I gotta make sure that these guys understand that this isn't a game and that they can't shoot just paintballs at trees you know this isn't what this is all right so those are the targets and it doesn't look like they're that far but they're pretty far actually and the fact that you're trying to hit them with a little uh, paintball it's gonna make it a lot harder so it's not supposed to be easy it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be smooth competition all right so I was gonna go to storage to get a table but I figure since we're closer to the scuff house I'll just come here and grab one of my foldable chairs foldable tables that we have in the basement so bad news bad news the table that foldable table that I had downstairs is no longer there and the reason for it is because I think big timer uses it so I gotta go to storage to get that and hopefully get back to the CSGO house in time for everybody to be there. Everybody better be there on time. God damn, no? Show him, Pomash. Oh, what the fuck? Is that you, Pam? Just hit a slap shot. Damn, yeah, fucking Canadians. All right, Twitter, I need help. Why would that be for us? I need help. All right, so this is not going into here, and Crim6 is not helping. It's not, it's not opening up, and we've done everything that the directions have told us to do. If you guys are paintballers or know anything about paintballing, please help us out. We have more. Wow. All right, That's so we just figured what out. We figured, like, it took us, it's, how many, how many did it say? <laughs> Wait, where does it say? There's it's right there. They could make that a little bit bigger, the f We figured it out, Ian. We figured it out. The, yeah, the tanks aren't filled. They don't come pre-filled. Hey, oh my here? god, so you guys gotta go fill them up? Uh, that's yeah. next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we'll call you later. Pete, Some fuck. I'm pretty sure you have done like an uh, doctor piece. Let's just blow and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, hey listen, I appreciate that you have my number, but please, and I appreciate the help. Just don't call back though, please, okay? We figured it out. The tanks aren't filled. We're idiots. Alright, now that that is all said and done, I'm gonna head home for a little bit and then I'm gonna, I need to head out over to the I need to head over to the scuff house for just a tiny little bit but I do want to play the beta today and I still need to eat so let me close this garage and get on my way last time I was here I said that I was gonna grab my pole and completely forgot and I saw an opportunity to go fishing and I didn't take it because I didn't have my pole but now poles in the truck you're good to go I don't know if I ever ended up telling you guys what the problem was with the with the paintball guns, but apparently when you buy a canister or a gas can, it doesn't come full of CO2, even though you buy them there. So I guess we were just buying the, the can itself with no ingredients. Okay, darling, thank you for holding the camera. I appreciate it as mm -hmm. usual and as... Per use. All right. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What did I say we needed? Nice. I am, I am gonna go fishing. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go fishing right now because there's nothing to do. I was gonna play the beta, but I, I, fly, I fly to New York tomorrow. I fly to New York tomorrow, which means that my time is limited when it comes to fishing. Unless I commit myself to flying somewhere, my time is literally limited. Uh, next time I'll be able to fish in Illinois is like probably ice fishing, so I gotta make sure that I take advantage of the time that's in front of me, and that's what I intend. On. Just got to the spot, and I haven't been here in a while. Last time I was here, I believe, was a couple of months ago, and I see action. Whether or not that action is gonna turn into anything, we're about to find out. All right. So unfortunately, we had really, really bad luck. Um, I, I got out here too late, to be honest. I, I shouldn't have. I got bored. I was watching some videos on YouTube, and I got really, really bored. So I decided to come out here and, and try my luck. It looks really bright out, but that's because this camera is that good. But the visibility. Let's just say here. Let's just say this. Here, 
What you see in here, all this around, is way darker than what you're seeing in the camera. Skunked the F out. I didn't catch anything. Which is sad because of the urgency that I'm trying to catch fish. Now there is an opportunity to go down to Florida to my favorite lake ever, which is Lake Okeechobee, to go fish with uh, with uh, with Rob from UMG or as you guys probably you guys don't even know him as Rob from UMG anymore, you know, because he's famous now. You know, he's got his own YouTube channel. My man says about to, like I think he already passed 100,000 subscribers, which is amazing to me because it was at the beginning of the year where I was telling him like some do's and don'ts on YouTube. And now the homie is like 100k uh, strong in his sub box. So that was super, super exciting for me personally because I love to see like new up and comers just like hit the ground running and just do amazing. Um, anyway, uh, tomorrow we fly to New York. Krim and I, I still have to get a hold of him to see whether or not I'm picking him up or if we're meeting at the airport, whether or not he changed the flight to, to coincide with mine and whether or not he wants to do dinner at Miss Korea tomorrow. So tomorrow, on tomorrow's vlog, you're going to see some nice little soup. Some dubu with some spicy bulgogi. Anyway, having said that, and with that said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, as usual, and as per usual, at the same damn. I forgot to show you guys something. Hold on. Look at what I have. Boom. PlayStation VR. I figured that I would get this and I would play with Olivia and I got her the perfect game. It's not that scary, is it? Anyway, having said that and with that setup, it's a good small. As usual, and it's pretty usual. At the same damn time.